This room is fantastic. I just have this architect in there. Oh. oh. Yeah, what did the architect have to say? Well, said that we have a good room, right? We have a good room. Yeah, I just approval. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm giving you approval right now. We have a good room. No, no, somebody certified. You can, you can trust my word. <laughs> You're a plumber. Yeah, I still have a good eye. No. I can still see it's a good room. Like, there's no, there's no kind of like uh, limitation that I can only look at a pipe and say, oh, it's a good pipe. I can look at a room and say it's a good room. I just feel better if it's somebody with a degree in like saying, oh, it's pretty good. You don't have a degree in that. You, have a, you don't have a degree at all. You just, well, that's, just, that's, that hurts my feelings a little bit. I mean, you are a damn good plumber. Tom, that hurts my feelings just a little bit. Do you think the architect should come in and look under the sink? You're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having to look at anything under the sink. I stand by my plumbing work. Well, you know, architect wouldn't look under the sink. So, you have to get a really like, cheap architect. Would it? Yeah, like a, yeah, on the corner, standing on the corner with a sign. I, I, I don't understand where this elitism is coming from. I mean, Tom, it's not like you have some, some big degree either. You know, I know, I'm a self-made man. Yeah. I hire people that know what they're talking about. Right. And I know what I'm talking about. This is a pretty nice room. I didn't hire you, okay. Okay. You're I'm right. giving you this opinion for free. So here's how much it costs you. Okay. Nothing. Oh, good. You're welcome. Good. How much that architect cost you, huh? Oh, my God. You're the best roommate ever. Yeah. Got Oh. Damn it. Oops. Dude. Yeah, that. Uh, Gerber here's on the fritz again. Yeah. I'm just going to bend over here and get it. Yeah. Well, your plumbing looks good, but oh my god, look, how long has it been doing that? That looks like dry rock. Yeah, yeah, it's been doing that for a while. Like, uh, I don't know who your previous plumber was. I think you are spending too much time looking at the rooms. This, this, has, been, this, has, been like, this has been years, this has been driven. Okay, we've been in this apartment for eight months. Yeah. And you just now went down to the sink. The room is so compelling. <laughs> it really is. It really so is. Really oh, oh, that. oh. But that's not an excuse. Oh, but wait, wait, your opinion's fine. Now you can have an opinion about this room. It's just me. Oh. I think what it was was your attitude about how important your opinion was. I think that, that's you, and you're projecting your reality <laughs> onto okay. my reality. Okay. I don't project. <laughs> we both know I don't project. You, that was a clear projection. Uh, I just came in and said, it looks like a pretty nice room. And you were just like, I'm going to take your opinion. I'm going to crumple up the ball on the floor. I'm going to step on it. I'm going to step on it. I'm going to step on it. I'm going to take up my matches. And I'm going to light my, that opinion on fire. That's, that's how I felt. So you know. You know, that made me feel good. The whole little analogy there. Oh, really? Yeah, I like that. Oh, did it? It was a release for me. OK. Yeah. I am a bastion of neutrality. Really? Yes. Neutral. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm not rejected. I ended that. No. Yeah, you could just say you ended that. Where's your degree in ending it? If you're going to end something, I want to see someone in here who has a degree what in ending something. Arguing? What are you arguing exactly? I don't know. I just said it was a nice room, and we got into a whole argument. It seems a bit, it's a bit, this is a city. This room is sure that I paid 380 bucks. The guy certified. Yeah. When I say guy, I mean, oh, the guy. She was a little more masculine. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what are you saying? Not, what are you saying? It's just like gender specific. You're getting kind of. Uh, I, I just, I'm trying to. I don't know why I said guy. Yeah. I don't know why I said that. Well, okay. Why did you attack her masculinity? Like, if a woman wants to be a guy, she could be a guy. It's, it's the. It's the. Uh, 20, 2017. Anyway. I don't know, what, what do you call this decade anymore? Anyway, look, did you see the plaque? He put up a plaque? Yeah, look at that. This room is certifiably nice. That's, that's really mounted well. That's, that's not coming that's off. Permanent. That's permanent. It's permanent? Yeah. That is. <laughs> you had him come in. Did the architect install this himself, or did you actually hire a carpenter as well to install the plaque? She. She. 
I wasn't there, okay? In my defense, you called him a guy. I was in so, my defense. I was so confident that I had the construction guy show up at the same time. And sure enough, stamp of approval. How much did it cost you to get this room certified as a nice room? Well, I gave him 480. Oh, good God. So, I'm a little short of this month's rent. But we have a plaque. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I think. A little frustrated, Tom. Like, ever since we were boys. You were just not good with money. You started that lemonade stand. Had your mom go out and buy the Kool-Aid. You mixed the Kool-Aid. The first thing you did is you walked up and you said, well, that's a really nice lemonade stand. I said that because I'm being supportive. And you gave me all the lemonade for free. It's like the wrong focus. Yeah, what do you mean it's the wrong focus? It's a nice stand. It was. It was a nice stand. It was a nice stand. It was a nice stand. But my mom came out, she already, see the thing is, there's people that already done it. My mom had already told me this, was she helped me. She was a 4-H mom, like, World War II. She's old. She's, she's been around. And she's, did she have you, like, in her 40s? Yes. 49. That is a bit late. She was a late bloomer. Yeah. Anyways, she'd already covered She'd already come out and told you, oh, Tommy, nice, nice lemonade stand, didn't she? I don't know. You know the bottom line. What's that? Why can't my opinion just be worth more than yours? I value your opinion. I do. And it's not a competition. Yeah. It's not a competition. So I just place the toy kits in my room. Fix that drip? Yeah. The dry rod, that's another story. That's going to be. That's going to make that. that. You are paying for that. Because that's your responsibility. Bad plumbing. That's you. It's all on you. It's all on you. And Tom, Mr. Hirer, you, you hired a contractor to put that plaque up. And, like, by the way, it's a little crooked. Okay, let's take a point of that. Okay. Because you know how much it costs to get a plaque certified? You have the plaque certified as well? No. Tom! It's too expensive. Well, yeah, of course it's, it's too expensive. expensive. They're so rare. They're so rare. It's kind of, it's kind of, well, at least it's kind of Star Trek. But swooshes. This isn't about the plaque. This is about you and your opinion lack of faith in your, yourself. I don't know why you don't believe in yourself. You're a strong, independent man. You're a viable human being. You're a wonderful person. You're a good friend. You make damn good lemonade. You hire good people. And you've always been there for me, except for the rent on many occasions. <laughs> Started. 
I think this is the fascist decade, by the way. Is that what they're calling it? It's the return of ultra conservatism around the world. Conservatism. What do you think? You've got a point there, Tom. You got a. I'm going to call someone. You what? I'm going to call somebody. Clearly, my, my plumbing skills are not good. I've mean, got a dry rod, I've got you know, no faith in you, I, I, you know, I'm not a water sign. But you, you just had faith in me. I have faith in you, you have got no faith in me. Well, I'm just happy you're a normal guy now. But tell me I'm a good plumber. I already told you that. Did you? I was proven wrong. <laughs> Twice. This is one big difference. I'm just happy to have you down on my level. I believe they call a guy. Yeah. It's, it's a special kind of Vaseline they have to get from the Alps. Al Alpaline? Yeah, I think it's Yakbar. <clears throat> One thing my dad did teach me, WD-40. Really? Yeah, that's what the words I'm looking for. Works like twice, and then it's back. It gets gummy. It gets dirt trapped in there. Okay, works for a couple days. <laughs> Love that smell. No, it's toxic. What? That's petroleum distillate. It's toxic? You just like sprayed your teeth with that. <laughs> yeah, it smells good. That, it's not good for you, man. And that explains the bad plumbing. Did you hear what I said? You're down at my level. You don't understand that. Well, it's good to well, have you. Going. Going. Now you got an equal opinion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, what do you think about that, um, that movie over there, the um, Wonder Woman? It's really good. That, that guy can really act. <laughs> I think you. Ah, see what I did? Oh, Turn it around on you. Oh my god. The <laughs> lady architect. Oh, she was a lady. She was a lady? Yeah. She was like ordained by the queen? I guess that's not ordained. <laughs> no, no. She was just a woman. She was a woman. I don't oh. know if she's ordained. You said she was a lady. Her. I didn't know that. I didn't ask her. You didn't know that. You didn't know that. Am I not supposed to say lady now? I don't think so. I didn't know that was a political thing. Yeah, like broad? I don't think I don't think oh, that's broad. You said broad. I don't know. I don't say broad. Hey, I brought that broad a casserole. Oh, yeah, you did? That. A casserole? No one, no one has casseroles. Come on. No. <laughs> Especially not tuna fish. <laughs> you ever had a tuna casserole with no cheese? Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? What is that? It's, it's, right? it's like mayonnaise or something. It's like miracle whip. Heat it up. It's like, oh yeah, my milk whip went bad. Do we have anything else to do today? I'm really hungry. Oh. We should have went and saw the movie together, Barry. It's okay, Tony. Okay. okay, well, I invite you. That was funny, though. What? Wonder Woman. Cut that man. man from. Yeah. You know, every woman is a man, in a way. See? A man with a womb. So oh, a man. womb. A womb man. Versus <laughs> is that the derivation? Oh, man. I don't know. Yeah. I, just, I just made sense for me. Yeah, yeah. Not certified. I, I get that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, are you going to, did you call? I called Blumber. No, did you see me take, take my phone out? No, I'm, I'm so busy. With you. You're like all up. To come and, uh, or or gal. I got her gal. I'll call, I'll call the person to come and uh, well, fix the driver. Well, how come when a woman has butt crack, I don't like it? I don't know. Something. Well, the guy, you're used to it. I don't know. Is that weird? It feels, it feels a little weird. <laughs> Isn't it weird that women can have you know, cracks up here? <laughs> Cleavage. And men can have butt cracks and then we're used to it. Okay. That sounds like the bathroom. No, oh, no. So what do you think? You and me, we go see, uh, what's that movie over at the, uh, Hill Norris, uh, I don't even know it. It's 
saw the movie. Yeah, it's, it's the one with the dog that, uh, that oh, becomes David. a doctor. Oh, David. Oh, the, yes. oh, the doctor one, yeah. Yes. The, the wound yeah. actually, when he bit the person, the wound actually healed the person, so it became a doctor. Yeah. I heard there was a couple scenes in there where you can actually see the blue screen, like parts of it. Oh. So it's not, it's not a... It's That's some bad CG effects. For CGI. Yeah. That sounds like a classic. I didn't work on it, though. Do you need a hug? Be on the other side of this okay. door. I know my phone's not good enough for you, which is fine. Well, you still have a you still have a wall phone. That that's, that weirds me out. Really? Why? Because everyone has cell phones these days. Well, this phone is totally fine. Oh, it's totally fine. Yeah, no, totally it's not fine. It's totally <laughs> fine. Left. It's rotary though. I, I didn't even know they still took rotary tones. And the first number. Let's get this. In 1957. Yeah. The first number honked. It did. It honked. It did honk. What? I'm going to try this again. I'll hang it up. Okay. Try this again. Ready? Okay. It's, no. it's old. It's old. It's old. <laughs> I don't think the exchanges work anymore. No, it just... What are you? You're criticizing my phone now? No, I'm the year to Tom. I knew, Tom. It. I knew it. Tom. We can't go five minutes. Um, I just, I was trying to go into my room to make a phone call, and suddenly I'm now maligning you again somehow. This, this pattern keeps repeating, Tom. You find me lower class in some way. No, Tom. Even though you're down to my level, because you screwed up three plumbing things. We're total simpatico here. We're just on an even level. We can both make comments to and fro. It's like I sometimes need space in my room. Taking space? I'm mean, just talking space. about never taking space. You don't take space from me, Barry. No one takes space from me. No one's taking space from you. People are just segmenting space away from you. <laughs> Okay, it's that? very different. It's distinct. <laughs> okay. It's distinct. You can't okay. lay claim to every bit of space that's in the world. Funny. I'm talking to my therapist about that. Okay, you, you because that sounded a lot like. Why <laughs> don't you do your honk phone call to your, your therapist then? I'm just meeting my room, Tom. Okay, I used to do that consistently. Yeah? Yeah. What are you doing? It's my bad magazine. Oh. Where's the phone? I hung it up. Ah! You're not even paying attention. Fold on the back of the Mad Magazine it looks like a telephone. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. Oh, it does. That's weird. Yeah. Look, let me fold it over. <sighs> <laughs> Alfred Eating Humans Eating a Sandwich. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm just going to go in my room, and you could go stand in any other part of the house than other than right outside my door where I can hear you breathing. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna look up a couple things in the dictionary. Okay, that's not good I, for you. You know me, I'm analog. I get you. I get the phone. I'm analog. The 1957 Mad Magazine. I get it. I got a real dictionary here. Okay. Uh, I use the stepping stool sometimes. It's so thick. Compartmentalizing. No, I really need Wikipedia. <laughs> but they haven't printed anything yet. <laughs> You're a good man, Tom. You're patronizing me. I'm just gonna I'm gonna segment some space away from you. I'm just gonna go through my door here. I have I have a feeling that that is the same thing as taking as taking your own space. Yeah, it's taking my own space. It's not your space. It's my space. But I I I, I don't have any space. You've got all the space out here in this nice room. I said it was a nice room when I came in, right? But I'm in it. It's certified. Nice space. Hey, Tom, what a nice space you have here. What a great space you have. Oh, look, my space isn't here. It's small. It's crowded. Oh, what an awful space. You know, there used to be a closet 
I, it was a walk-in closet. Yeah, it's small. You got a great space. Nobody leaves me alone in my own space. <laughs> what does that mean? You gave me a hug, and then you found a reason to like to leave. Condescend to me? No, Tom. Everybody likes to work phones. Everybody. The president, the red phone is still voting. I think that's true. This is right here. This is right here. Look, they're making fun of. They're making fun of right here. It's five versus five. Look. Yeah. Yeah. It's 1957 Mad Magazine. All they have is rotary phones at the time. Is that true? Pretty sure that's true. I mean, you have walkie-talkies, which are a lot like cell phones, but you've got an open frequency. I mean, Your information is overwhelming me. Can we just stick to old things? Tom. Remember, we used to have so much fun. We did. We were young. Mm -hmm. We were real then. We were, we were real. Just before uh, the world got a hold of me and flung me out. They wrung everything out of you, Tom. What, what's that supposed to mean? I, I just mean, I just mean, you can't say that and then leave me in my own space. <laughs> Is there anything I can say and then leave me in my own space? Well, you're already hungry, so you can't do that again because that would be like, Wouldn't be valuable. To, to hugs don't get diminished by having plenty of them. Just like love. love. Just like love. love. No. Your, your mother can love multiple kids. I, she didn't. She only oh had God. you. Oh she God. only God. had you. She God. only had you. And she only loved you. Listen, you can't rewrite this. But some other mother could have multiple kids and love them all just as much. Theoretically. Theoretically. But my mother didn't. Your mother didn't. Your mother just had you. And all her love what? was for you. You cannot rewrite this. You can't. You wish that she only had me. I was fine until Manny was born. Do you think I don't see you sneaking away? <laughs> no, no! I'm taking this wall down. I'm coming like search my back. No walls. This is going to be an apartment with no, no walls. It's one really great big room. One and a really nice in the middle of it with a plaque. It's really nice. Wait, oh wait! There's the plaque going. Nowhere, it's against that wall. Unless you're taking down that wall, it's the wall oh, the hallway. It's a hallway wall. Yeah. Woo Don't do that. Woo Don't do that. The bathroom wall. No, that's got to stay. stay I am keep, stay I am putting my foot down. That must stay. stay up. Okay, good. Because you, when you go in there. Yeah. Now you take my magazine when you go in there. A little bit. It's good for sometimes. Sometimes you're going to toilet paper. You know what? What? Is that why I'm missing page? 47 through 9. Go right here. Look at this. There's some toilet paper, Tom. It's not funny. All right. Okay. Let's, I go, feel to like a movie. Movie. Let's go to a movie. Okay? Because right I, right I can't go to my room. Right Let's go to that movie. That movie, that movie the, the dog. That's the Chompy, dog. Chompy McBiterson. Yeah. Yeah. Chompy McBiterson. MD. <laughs> Chompy McBiterson, MD. Yeah. It sounds really good. It sounds good. Kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy looks like. Yeah, but like the lower cost of production and the stars. Oh, so oh yeah, let's go now. Let's go, let's go now. Yeah, I'm taking this. Okay. And you're taking you're taking your trench coat. It's what's wrong with my trench coat? Ninety degrees outside. It's really really warm. I just don't like being recognized. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's your putting on your big bowler hat. Yeah, that's. Kind of distinctive, the guy in the trench coat and bowler hat in 90 degree weather. I think, uh, I don't recommend it. It was, uh, it's, I, I, I used to love the air conditioning. I'm still living with you, Tom. It's true, you're still here. Doesn't mean you don't frustrate me, even though I love you. You're still here. I'm still here. It's the way you like Okay. I bet you. I think it's slushy. Come on. It's got a happy ending. Oh, fighting McBiter scene, MD. Of course it's got a happy ending. Oh, you're not going to take that bet? No. I wouldn't take that bet. It's a crazy man's bet. Well, how about. How about. Uh, 
that he has a love interest. Oh, a dog with a love interest? Yeah, like he falls in love with a human lady, girl. Woman. Yeah. A woman. Yeah. A woman. Falls in love, yeah. A woman is intimidating, isn't it? Is it? Because, you know, like a woman, like, you're a man, why can't it be a woman? Well, the architect was a woman, but yeah. she was kind of a guy woman. I don't know why they came out. Why they came what? I don't know why I said that. We've been over that. Okay. You? I think the guy just recognized me. Yeah. Hey, bowler hat trench coat guy! Hey! You shut up! Yeah. Yeah, quiet down over there. You leave Tom alone. That's not very nice. They should be more respectable. Respectable to the business owners. I just well, quit shouting at people. I, I, my privacy. Bowler hat, trench coat it. guy. It's trench coat guy, bowler hat. Jeez, Louise. I'm just a person. I'm just a guy. That what I'm wearing? Why does it matter what I'm wearing? Like a pendant. Heads. Yep. Ever seen Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead? <laughs> Flipping a coin through the whole thing, and it always comes up heads. Heads. It's like they're tragic characters or something, trapped in a never ending, repeating, inevitable, unlikely story. Heads. Heads? There could be murderers in there. Did you bring me here to get murdered? Kim Tom. I would do that to you. Unless you betray me or something. space. Myself. I'm never leaving you again. Unless this is heads. <laughs> Fell right in that waterfall. <laughs> I didn't see that. This we'll never know. I've been behind the grass. 
class. All right, Tom. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. It follows you around now. <laughs> Not a water sign. No. <laughs> <laughs>